Welcome to The Jump. I am Rachel Nichols. This is Amin El Hassan. This is Steven Jackson, 2003 NBA champ. We are going to be joined today by Clay Thompson. We are going to be joined today by Michael Rappaport. Before we get to it. any of those people, though, we have to discuss what a crazy news day it has been in the NBA today. We can barely keep up. Kevin Love is going to be out for six weeks because he has what the Cavaliers called a loose body mm. in his knee. <laughs> I, I know you guys have probably run across a loose body before, he's, he's too. He's had a couple of loose bodies. <laughs> not, not in the way <laughs> Clay did because his required surgery. So that is obviously a huge hit for them because they have had other injury issues. And then on the flip side, one of their biggest competitors in the East, the Toronto Raptors, have apparently made a trade for Serge Ibaka, first reported by The Vertical, and didn't really have to give up that much for no. this trade. A first-round draft pick, Terrence Ross. Shout out Masai Ujiri, right, mm -hmm. for doing it again. So the question is, Toronto finally makes the move we all thought they needed to make. Kevin Love going to be out on a depleted Cavs team and probably puts a little bit more pressure on Griff to David Griffin to yeah. make a move there for the Cavaliers. Which is the bigger headline here? Which do you expect to have more impact on the Eastern Conference? I mean, more... Uh uh, for me, it's Kevin Love being out because yeah. it's not necessarily – I'm not trying to say that Cleveland is going to go on a massive losing streak or anything like that, but Kevin Love being out is the opposite of what LeBron James was demanding a few weeks ago. This is less bodies, not right. more bodies. So that means LeBron's got to play more minutes, right? And he's got to do more in those minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what you've been – the drum that you've been beating all sure. year long is that it's not about now. It's about, it's about June, May and June. Is he going to be as fresh as he was last year when he did get a lot of rest? Like they say, what he said. I, <laughs> I agree with you totally. Right. I mean, not ha not having Kevin Love when Jr. is just trying to get healthy and come back, it's going to hurt the team. And what they was trying to do is limit LeBron minutes. This is the totally opposite. K. Lau, though, now with DeMar DeRozan and Serge Ibaka, that's formidable. What do you guys think this does to Toronto and how tough they might be in the East? Serge want to, wants to be a three-point shooter. You know, the knock on him in OKC was he didn't post up. Right. All he wanted to do was shoot threes. Just what, just what you want, sir. You can go there and shoot threes all you want. It's a perfect a situation for him. Yeah, I, I think what uh, Jack is saying is absolutely correct. Offensively, he's going to help them because even though they, they're a good percentage team, they don't get a lot of threes up. They right. don't have a lot of three-point shooters outside of Lowry, really. Um, and so this gives them another shooter on the floor and gives DeRozan and Lowry more space to operate. Exactly. I'm going to steal some, some knowledge from someone else. Hey. Kevin Pelton. On the Lockdown podcast said today. ESPN's Kevin Pelton. Yeah, ESPN's. Of course, everyone knows who Kevin Pelton is. <laughs> the same. So Kevin Pelton said the Raptors, when uh, Patrick Patterson is on the floor, are 13 points per 100 possessions better than when he's off the floor. So basically what's been happening is when he doesn't, when Patrick Patterson doesn't play, they fall apart. Now that you've got Ibaka coming, who's a better version of Patrick Patterson, mm -hmm. that makes up for that slack time that happens when Patterson's not on the floor. So basically they'll have one or the other on the floor at all times. That's going to help them a lot. It's going to be interesting for the Raptors, too, because Lowry and Ibaka share an agent. Yeah. Both those guys are going to be looking for new contracts this season, you know, this offseason. Ibaka has to be convinced to stay there in the mm. first place. It's, it's a lot of sort of how this goes for the future. And then, of course, the Kevin Love domino falls with the All-Star game. How do you expect that position to be filled? Who would you like to see? To be the – I have to go with Bill. You know, they're third, they third in the East right now. He's been playing well. They've been playing great as a team. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the East. They're, they're not too far from that, that number one spot, Washington there. So I got I'll, I'll give it to Bill. I think Bill deserves it. Bill, two points. Bill's played well. The Wizards have played well. Um, apologies to my go guy, Goran Dragic. they played really well, and he's been a big part of them coming up. But – I'm going to go with Carmelo Anthony. Nice. I want to, I want, and for no other reason, I want to troll the you Knicks. Can't, you can't let, I want Carmelo, let this man go on vacation. No, he I has want not Carmelo, had a hard enough couple weeks. Let him have his break. I want him to be recognized and loved because he's I not agree. getting it in that, in that building over there on 33rd. He is seven. an all-star, though. He, he is might have to trade jerseys, though, while he's yeah. in. The, he might have to go from east to west. I mean, you don't even know <laughs> what's going to happen with Melo. That is a dangerous situation. He knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Well, that's he true. Oh, so. Exactly. Yeah, he <laughs> that's knows. true. I think he should be able to get his rest. It is interesting. Typically, Adam Silver has just sort of chosen whoever the next person was right. in the coach's voting, which we don't know who that is, but he has discretion. I wonder who. Can we guess? Can we get that, that full screen again so we can guess who it will be? <laughs> Well, Maybe not. Uh, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, he's got some discretion there, so it's going to be interesting to see who it is. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, we will have Michael Rappaport to talk about the Knicks situation because you know you want to hear that. And then Clay Thompson is also joining us. See you in a minute.
Welcome back to The Jump. I'm Al Hassan, Stephen Jackson still in the house, and we are thrilled to welcome in Clay Thompson, who is joining us thanks to Built with Chocolate Milk. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Clay, I like, I like that shirt. They could have got you a better shirt, but check this out. I think my skin tone is more, no, more suitable shirt, to... My, my skin tone is more suitable to, to promote cho chocolate milk. You more like vitamin D or whole milk or something like that. <laughs> I didn't want to go there. Man, chocolate milk tastes way milk better. Come on now. Ask your kids. <laughs> <laughs> this man come, is nice enough to come you hang home, out with us. Kids, you gotta have. Warriors teammate. Come on. Come on, little warriors love here, please. We got a lot of love. We got a lot Stax, of love. Stax, you know, uh, yeah. the Stax loves you. You know that. All right, we need to start out with you sitting last night against the Nuggets to rest the sore heel. What is the deal with the injury? Should we be worried? Do Warriors fans need prayer beads? I mean, give me, give me the scoop here. Should not be worried at all. I'll be back tomorrow <laughs> night. Uh, it was just precautionary. It was, uh, man, it was a tough little last night, man. The, the Nuggets warrior us, you know. They hit us with 24 <laughs> threes. I mean, it was some great shooting. So give, the, give them credit. That's a team we might see down the line, too, in the first round. But uh, don't be worried, Warrior fans. I'll be back tomorrow night. All right, no prayer beads. I liked what Steph said after the game. He said we got served a slice of humble cupcake. <laughs> and speaking of cupcakes, <laughs> the last game you did play yeah. in was over the weekend in Oklahoma City. Yeah, uh, did you see the tweet that your dad sent? The the if that's if that's a cupcake. I'll yeah, that was the. Uh, that was pretty funny. I, that might have been the only good tweet he's ever had, though. But that was no. pretty good. Oh, that was classic. That was classic. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> what was it like to just be in the middle of all man, that man, craziness and noise and all that banana stuff? It was uh, it was amazing. Honestly, I I loved it. Um, it's rare in the NBA season you ever experience a game with that much hype during the regular season. And it was crazy. It, was, it felt like the NBA Finals in there. And it was, uh, if, it, obviously, the OKC fans were out for blood, but um, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. You know, you, as, a, as a competitor, you embrace those moments. And exactly. hopefully it's the same thing when we go back in late March. Now, your coach, Steve Kerr, joked that maybe when you guys and Russ are at All-Star together, maybe we can have some healing. You could sing a song together. What, what do you expect at All Star? Oh, Are we wow. going to see a little kumbaya or what? <laughs> so, wow. Oh, wow. Nah, none of us can sing. None of us no. can sing at all. So I hope we don't sing. Got no type of vocals. Uh, I don't know. Might play like cards or something. That's a good way to bond. Play some poker or maybe some dominoes. I don't know. We got a lot of time to kill before tip off. So we'll find out. Do you, do you see any thawing there? I mean, he, KD was kind of trying to be nice for the first two games, but then we saw these two going at each other in this game. It kind of seems like KD's no more Mr. Nice Guy here. Nah, and uh, he's a really nice guy off the court. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but um, I didn't realize how competitive he was until I was on his team. Uh, he's a tireless worker, and he's the most effortless score I've ever seen him and Steph. So it's, it's a blessing to be on the same team as them. It makes my life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, he was just, he's a killer. And he, uh, they call him Easy Money Sniper for a reason because he makes it look so easy. <laughs> and, uh, it's ridiculous. He's seven foot. How do you block that shot? You know, I, when right. I, when I, you, you can cut him off from every angle, but he just kind of leans back seven foot, just shoots right over you. And he has some of the best touch I've ever seen. The man's shooting like 53, 54% from the field, something ridiculous, which is just yeah. crazy as a, as a wing man. Yeah. If, if you had to guard him, Clay, how would you guard him? We saw how he guarded. You should see the game oh, man, six I'm, last year. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give away all our secrets right now. This is crazy. No. <laughs> Jump is out to get me. He's trying to get our, he's trying to get our, our scouting report. So oh, if man. I had to guard KD, what would I do? Man, he could beat you in any type of way. He gets to the free throw line. He can beat you from three. He can post you up. He's great in transition. The man is a great finisher in transition. So if I had to guard him. I probably foul him a lot, just try and get him <laughs> off the game. And yeah. I guard him. I guard him. Play is tough. I know it's I tough. Know. <laughs> yeah, you know it's tough, Steven. He's he's long, man. So, uh, hey Clay, how how you feel about defending the three-point championship this year? Oh, I'm excited. Uh, it's, it's nice not having Steph there because you know that's my biggest competition. <laughs> I would think. But. <laughs> Can't underrate these other guys. These other guys can shoot. Kyrie's a great shooter. I mean, CJ's a great shooter. Uh, Wes Matthews, a ton of guys. I mean, Kemba even. So it's, I'm in it to win it, that's for sure. And 
I'm uh, I'm picking myself as a favorite, and uh, yeah, I got, uh, it's just I got I got you repeating situation. too, bro. Please tell me though you okay, gave Steph a little that. bit That's of a hard right time there. though, right? Tell me you gave Steph a little bit of a hard time that he's running scared from you. Please. <laughs> gave him a little bit, a little bit, but uh, we'll go we'll go out it one more time before our career's over. I gave okay. him a little bit of a hard time though. You know, I wanted to All see right. that. Everyone wants to see that grudge match. I mean, we shoot right. against each other every day in practice, but uh, it won't be the last time. We'll see each other again in the competition. I like that. Big scoop here. All right. Now, I have to admit, I did a little advanced scouting on you. When I was with you all over the weekend in Oklahoma City, I got some interview prep from Draymond and from Steph. We went over particular questions I might want to ask you. Here were their suggestions to me. See if you can, oh, wow. think, see if you can guess. They said, <laughs> I got to ask you about Rocco. I got to ask you about surfing or skateboarding. Okay. And that I, or I could ask you about reading okay. a newspaper and how much it annoys them when you go in and they're buried in your newspaper all day. So I'm going to give you dealer's choice. How should we wrap up this interview? Which of those three topics do you want to discuss? Man, probably, probably Rocco and uh, <laughs> the newspaper because I got a good lesson from the newspaper. What's your good lesson on the newspaper? I just think, uh, I mean, we're so, especially my generation, we're on our phones so much all the time. Even me, I'm a bad culprit of it. That my mom actually suggested this to me. She's like, Clay, instead of staying at your phone pregame all the time, why don't you, like, get a newspaper or a book and uh, read that before a game, try to take your mind off things. And I was like, Mom, that's a great idea. So I started reading the sports section because, you know, I try to read the business or arts or entertainment, whatever. I could, my mind gets kind of bored. I like reading the sports section. And I like reading about high school hoops or college basketball and just like kind of old school feel, you know, I like the feel of newspaper. So shout out to my mom for helping me with my new pregame ritual. Yeah. And then Rocco mm -hmm. is my, that's, I love Rocco. That's my little homie. And he's actually here <laughs> right now. I don't know where he's at, but yeah, he's, he's running around this gym right now. He's probably I got a back, bigger version, Clay. But he's a, yeah. Oh, really? Old, a big bulldog, American. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love I bulldogs. American. They're great. They're friendly. Okay, those things are huge. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to get Rocco brother one day. He's kind of, I think either like a German Shepherd, a Pit, or a Rottweiler. Something, something to go, because he's, he's little, you know, he's like this big. I need to get him a big brother, and that would be a funny little combo. But I'm going to get him well, a brother I, one day. I like that Rocco is with you. It is Valentine's Day. I know that Rocco the dog is the most important other being in your life, and I'm happy that you can share Valentine's Day with him. I'm also happy that you're reading newspapers. Excellent message for the people out there. Press on. Good journalism pays off, and we thank you for being here with us. We appreciate it, Clay. We'll see you soon on the road. I appreciate you guys having me, and believe it or not, I actually watch your show all the time, so it's cool to be I on it for it. once. I appreciate it. We appreciate it, man. Yeah. We appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thanks, Clay. Shout appreciate out to it, you. Yeah. And uh, we will be talking to you through the television very soon. All right, thank you all for joining us. We will be back after this break with Michael Rappaport. It'll be fun, don't miss it. And the jump is heading to New Orleans on Thursday and Friday for All Star Weekend. You've heard of Lollapalooza, Coachella. This is Jump Fest 2017. Yeah. Dozens of special guests stopping by, main stage, side stage. If you're in the area, you can go to oneiota.com for tickets to join us in the audience. All right, welcome back. Our friend Michael Rappaport rejoins the show. Oh, my God, my God, Very guys, happy my to have God. you. I, I, need to, I, I need to wait a minute before I ask you about the Knicks because I'm just i not ready for it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to build. So, I got to build to that. So I want to start by asking you guys about Magic Johnson. He is at our headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut today. It almost sounds, guys, to me like he's on the campaign trail. Here he was on first take. From here on out, it has to be one message, one team, one voice, because if, if it doesn't come to that, the losing continues. And, and by the way, let me, let me just, if you were in suspense, he thinks he should be that, that one, one voice. voice yeah. How messy do you guys think this is going to get over at Lakers? Because you know Jim Buss doesn't want to give up that power. Here's the thing, Rachel. It can't get messy if there's only one voice there. Mm. <laughs> if, you know, if, if Jimmy Buss ain't around, then it can't. You use a computer. I'm just saying. So I, like, I like my analog memes. <laughs> you got to do, do the laugh. <laughs> 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 No. Do you, do you think Jim Buss is going to be gone? Look, he's the guy that dug his own grave when he said three years ago, if we're not contending in three years, I'll remove myself. Well, guess what? Three years are up. Get rid of him. Who, who is Jim Buss? What do you know about well, basketball? Well, I mean, he is he's part, a part owner. owner. I, I get that. You know what I'm saying? As far as basketball, 
basketball. Yeah. As far as basketball, what do you know about basketball right. other than your father gave you this team? It's like right. Magic Johnson, he should be like, please take this off of my hands. Magic Johnson is loved. He's respected. He knows the game. He has experience. I mean, he doesn't need a resume. He shouldn't be campaigning, campaigning anything. They should be like, please, and give him all reins. He should make all decisions, and he should control the team. Jim Buss, take a walk. I mean, take Magic, a walk. Magic comes in, gets the team to the organization to a winning organization. They all win. Right. He's not going to lose his spot. Yeah. Let Magic take over. Let, let him get him back to the winning attitude, to the way the Lakers organization is known for, and then just collect your money. I'm just yeah. saying, the, the dude told us, regardless whether it's Magic or if it's if it's Steven Jackson or, or Mike Rapport or That's Nina a good Reza, idea. Yeah, anybody, yeah. Whoever <laughs> me is, and Jax are the Lakers. I, 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 if I, it doesn't work out with Magic, me and Jax. pause for a minute to consider what a Steven Jackson. Yeah. Back Russell with Russell Russell. Russell. Awesome. It's, it's been run up the flagpole before. It ain't the first time it's been run up the flagpole. We definitely have a no snitching policy. No, no, absolutely. First order of business. No, but I'm just thinking about what the giveaways are in the Arena. Oh, we'll be fine. It'll be nice. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> yes. Sure they would. Go ahead. <laughs> no, my point is this. It's cool that it's magic, but even if it wasn't magic, this dude dug his own grave. It's time to put the headstone in, wow. go back to being an owner, and be quiet. Can I, can I just say one thing? If, I've ne if you've never made a layup, <laughs> if you've never made a layup on camera, you shouldn't be in control of any basketball decisions at no. professional level. All right. Period. I agree. <laughs> Hold on. Period. You just eliminated oh, yourself. I, uh, no, please, look at the celebrity game. Oh, I'm, I'm that for MVP. <laughs> My footage is out there. Oh, boy. It may just be a layup, but it's out there. <laughs> a layup. Please. A layup. All right. It is time to talk about the next. Can you show America your shirt? Oakley. Yeah. King of New York. Yeah. Real King of New York. We love you, no Oakley. Bands. We want you, Oak. James Dolan and Charles Oakley yesterday met with Adam Silver with Michael Jordan on speakerphone, because why not? Silver released a statement saying that progress was made between the two and that Dolan would welcome Oak back to the garden. Isn't that just so oh, darling and wow. sweet of him? Thank you. Um, but Oakley was on the Dan Levertard show with Stu Gatz, and well, yeah. not so fast on this reconciliation stuff. Take a listen. Crazy. If James Dolan invites you to be his guest at a future Knicks game, will you accept that invitation? Right now, no. I, t I told him yesterday. I don't know why they think, you know, it's a, it's a swimming pool for the water. It takes a while for the, you know, when you drain it. It don't go away because you said count the twenty. Is uh, are you are, did the ban get lifted? During this call, I don't, I, I don't know what that. I, I don't. It's not about a band. It ain't, it ain't about none of that right now. It's just about me getting myself together, going on with my life. And, and Oakley went on to say in that interview <clears throat> that he doesn't necessarily want the band to be lifted. He wants an actual public apology mm -hmm. from James Dolan. And Stax, you feel the same way, right? I mean, I, I agree. I mean, when you are the owner of a team and you have to get a well-respected man like Michael Jordan, <laughs> another owner. And the commissioner of league to tell you how to handle things that go on in your arena that lets you know you're a child, you're a clown. Yep. Somebody else, like there's no other arena that 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 owners own that have other people to come in and tell them how to handle right. their situations. You shouldn't have done that. You have, and by the fact that he's apologizing to Oak, he know he was wrong for the whole situation. And, and, and I agree. The fact that we had to get a guy who crushed. So many dreams <laughs> of New Nick Yorkers to, like to end this nightmare night <laughs> just goes to show that, 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 that you him, know, how, how bad it is. I mean, the whole thing is sad. I'm glad it's quote unquote over for now. Um, but it doesn't help the franchise. It, it doesn't help the fact that we're, we're, we're losing. It doesn't help that we're in turmoil. It doesn't help the Carmelo of it all. I think it's a little band-aid to, to sort of stop the bleeding right okay. now. It was a very upsetting thing, the whole thing. for As a New York Knicks fan, when, when it sort of died down, I was like, this is, it made me sad. Yeah. The whole thing as a fan, like, it hurt my heart. Like, literally Saturday, I was like, this, I feel bad about this. Rap, the, the sad part, you know, all getting ejected, that was regrettable. But the sad part is everything that came after that. I agree. Everything that came after that where they're implying he has a drinking problem multiple times yeah. when they're parading out, a, a, you know, a bunch of old flunkies and all that. That's, that's the part that's embarrassing. That's the part that's regrettable. And by the way, Oak said he doesn't want to apologize for himself. He wants them to apologize to the fans. Exactly. People like Mike. It's, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess in New York. And, and, and you know, I'm glad it's over, but it, it's, it ain't over. It ain't over. Free Charles Oakley. Free Oakley. There yep. we go. Free Charles right. Oakley. We will continue with this. We do want to get to Nick I got or Mr. Before we go, we got number one, Nick Aggression. 
Sixers forward Rashawn Holmes misses a free throw and takes out well, his aggression. Man. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm going right back to that free throw line and ask him, are you out your mind? Don't ever hit my hand that hard again. <laughs> <laughs> wrong with Make you. the free throw, dude. It ain't the first one you missed. Yeah. yeah. But, you, your whole team sucks. I didn't miss it for you. Yeah, like he doesn't look, Sack doesn't look happy about that afterward. I wouldn't be either. All right, miss awareness. JaVale McGee returned to Denver, picked up right where he left off, taking a Steph Curry pass off of his face. Michael, do you miss Nuggets, JaVale McGee? You know what? It's been a while. He's He's been due for one. I have no problem with it. He, I, he's been oh, doing he's great all season. He's got the little shag in the back. I'm staying off of JaVale today. Oh, look yeah. at that. That's so nice. I was on Steph. I, don't, I was on Steph. Yeah, let's no, blame Steph. Hey, look, look bad, I'm, I'm going to just say this. I know they're not on our network, but I can't wait till Thursday to see what Shaq going to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> all I got to say is at the beginning of that Thunder Warriors game, it was the JaVale McGee show, so who knows? All right, make jam set, D-Leaguer, Derek Jones Jr. Junior gave us a sneak mm. peek at his dunk contest debut during layup lines last night. Stephen, does he have a shot to win? Yes. No. <laughs> no. They, no, no. Oh. Gordon, let me, Gordon is going to do it again. You nah. So. Let me tell you something. Dude, this kid that right here, was sick. That was ill. Shout out to my man John Bloom. He's the play-by-play -play guy for the Northern Arizona Suns, the D-League team that Derrick Jones plays for. He said this kid is full of confidence. He has absolutely no he fear. Did. He's amazing. He's, amazing. You know what his nickname is? Airplane mode. <laughs> That's good. The Thunder missed 24 straight shots last night against the Wizards. It, it, how is this even possible? It, it's, it, it's the NBA. It happens. You have nights like this, but just make sure it's not contagious. They ate too many cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, right. Ralph. That is it from Los Angeles. Thank you to our cast of characters. Maybe they'll be running an NBA team yes. by the time we yes. get back tomorrow. Let's Thanks to Mike Thompson. See you later. Free oak. Free oak.